Yo, what up everybody? PYT20 of Spectra Football, guys. And it comes with a wheel spin to the break, guys. Um, yeah, comes with a wheel spin to the break. Wow. We have 35 down. 35, 36, I would imagine now with rare. How the hell you been, Flair? Been a minute, Larry, huh? Thank you, uh, Hen. Appreciate that. Cajun, what's up, KG? Talk to me, baby. Cajun Breaker. Who are you, Cajun? I don't even know who the fuck you... Who, who, who you think you be, Cajun? Just come in here barking orders like I'm supposed to know what's popping, Taylor? Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> Scuba! Scuba in the evening, Scuba in the morning, Scuba at supper time. What's poppin', buddy? I right, man. You already know, brother. You already know. All right, guys. Good luck. Uh, we got, uh, except I'm a teacher, and apparently I'm supposed to be carrying a gun these days. Yeah. I don't know how I feel with that. You know, that's going to cause some open worms. And, you know, I'm the kind of guy that I don't mind talking about stuff like that, but some people get real serious, bro. Like, I usually don't mix shit like that with breaking, but, you know, to me, like, if, I'm, if I fuck with you, okay, if I fuck with you, you have your own opinion on something, like, that's it. That's your own opinion. Like, I never judge somebody by their opinion, you know, like, that's why it's your own opinion, you know? So, like, I, I don't know how I feel about teachers carrying guns either, bro. Um, I really don't. I don't know how I feel about that. Me being a father of three, all my kids are currently enrolled in, you know, regular school systems that probably won't be much longer, I'll be very honest with you. Depending on where we go from here after this, I don't know if my kids are going to be going to regular public school much longer. You know, they're getting, not only are they becoming, I mean, you know, the kids are going to be kids, little wise asses and whatnot, but, you know... I think they could be more respectable being tutored, man. And let's be real, man. At the end of the day, a tutor, I mean, I'll be honest with you, a lot of people in North Carolina are homeschooled. They really are. <laughs> Yo, you still haven't told me your name, bro, so I can mod you up. Um, Bro, are you, are you really just like not... I gotta ask, because you're here typing. I'm gonna ask one more time. What's your name on Breakers, Royal? Cole, what is Breaker name? I mean, if you're just like messing around and trolling that and you're not really a breaker here, that's cool. I'm not. You can you can hang out. Yeah, Prince. Me and Megs have been talking about it a lot. You know? I, I think it's the best move, personally. You know, I don't even know where I stand. Like, do I I see both sides. I do, too. I see I see both sides, though, Hooper, to the story. Like, um, if you vet your teachers well and they're able to carry a gun, maybe so be it. Maybe not every teacher in the school carries guns. How about what would you feel if, what would you feel if five to ten people in the school carried a gun? You know, I mean, and were trained and got paid extra money. You know, would I be down for that? I might be. I legitimately might be E. coli. Oh, E. coli! <laughs> oh my god, I really had no clue that it was you, bro. I know, bro. I know. Relax. I'm just trying to put you on my list, and I can't spell it right. It's not matching up. If I don't spell your name with at least five letters right, it won't let me put you on my list. Spell your handle five letters. I If, if I don't know, remember your exact spelling, I can't do anything on this list. It's kind of dumb how we have it, but I have to know your five letters of your of your handle. And if I misplace one of them, it doesn't work. So, I mean, I, I can't, I can't. Spell it. Um, bro, 
Or I just pay extra for security. Who wouldn't pay extra for security? I think every neighbor should should carry a gun. Yeah, it's not working. I'm spelling it wrong, I guess, bro. I don't know. It's wow, bro. When you did it, it came up, Eric. That's crazy. I spelt that like that. Oh, you know what I was doing? I was going E I C. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right, cool. I'm still gonna call you E. coli. <laughs> So yeah, I mean it's it's crazy, but seventeen we got Cat Hannon for another under his five, right? Craig Hannon. Everybody gets sent over, guys. Under Brett Jones, so we got another one on YouTube. Frito's got five. I just feel that a teacher. I don't. I don't necessarily listen. I have teachers in the family. That I could not see carrying a gun. Like, I don't think they'd ever be able to carry a gun and perform the act that it would need to do. So I know what you're saying about, you know, you oh, shit, I might have to carry a gun. Ah, ah, ah. But I also see the fact that these poor kids out there, you know, they're helpless. And for any animal to attack a school, you know, whether it's staged by the government or this or however people feel, I'm not going to get into that, but... All this other shit with these kids going in and hurting their own fellow students with guns. It's really getting sickening. So we got 36 down, right? 36? 36. Ah, uh, so we got, um... Sixteen left, guys. I got you, Kenny. Yep. Sixteen left, fellers, at... Forty-four dollars, sixteen left. You're guaranteed a team. Anybody else? No worries, because we'll do a mini. But everybody should be paid on their fulls. We just need to make harder for them to get the guns. Um, Rick, I mean, um, reality. I see Rick Flynn. I see you. Can I ask you a question, um, Larry? Larry, you're a teacher, right? You're a teacher, right? I need to know that you can hear me right now. Seriously. Can you hear me right now? Okay. I'm going to tell you something. I don't, you know, I don't know your background or anything personal about you, but let me spit mine. I come from New York, okay? I come from I grew up in a really bad town when I was younger. Until I hit like the 9th to 10th grade. I've seen a lot of things. I've went to college, I've, I've, I've put on suits, I've done all that, and I've dressed, you know, whatever. I've been. I've seen both sides of the fence. And I'm going to tell you right now, whether you want to hear this or not, you can stop all gun sales moving from 2018 forward and never sell a gun in America again. And at any given time, a psychopath can buy a gun on the street. There's more guns in North America than people. By five. So, no matter what, I'm not saying you're wrong, because I, I told you, everybody has their own opinion, and I'm not against anybody's opinion, but I'm telling you that making it harder for people to get guns is not the answer, because you can get a gun, and I'm from New York, so it's a little different than a lot of other people, maybe, that they've seen. New York, New Jersey, Cali, Florida, all these places. You can go and get a gun. You can be any skin color. White, blue, brown, yellow. You can be 100. You can be 30. You can be 10. You can be 15. You can buy a gun. And they're never going to be taken off. They're, they're never... You Listen, it might be harder for a kid to get a gun, per se. Oh, i got to fix the focus. It might be... You might be able to make it harder for a kid to get a gun. But you ain't going to make it harder for... Let's say I was going to turn into a freak right now. I was going to... I lost my life. My whole life turned to... You know, whatever. I, I feel like I want to go out and hurt people. And I can't get a gun, let's say, because... I don't know. Um, I'm a convicted rapist. Uh, whatever. Anything. I can go get a gun if I wanted to get a gun. It might take me two days, but I can get a gun. So, I anybody who thinks that just by doing that we're going to fix things, I don't think that's going to fix anything. I think it might save a, a, a life or two long term. Maybe the person who was going to do something didn't now because, you know, they had an extra day to think about it because they couldn't get a gun. You're right, that could work. But as far as global, uh, you know, uh, uh, the whole country, 
I don't think that could, personally, my opinion, just from seeing what I've seen in the world, I don't think that could work long term. To five, Eli. Now, I'm not a gun shooter. I don't, well, I've, I've shot many guns. I'm not particularly much of a gun lover or, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, that's not a hobby for me. But I have uncles who have worked every day of their life. And my uncle has a AK-47, okay? He goes to a gun range, and he just loves to shoot. He has three kids, probably five grandkids already. He's worked for the civil service his whole life. And he likes shooting guns like that. Now, bump chambers and all that stuff that you hear about in the news, I fully think that should be gone and disabled. But what's the difference if I walk into a school? Now, now you're getting in the hall of the ball game of worms because now I can just go get a 9mm and turn it into a Tech 9. Uh, you know, you go on YouTube and figure out a way to make a gun rapid fire. I mean, so even if they stop selling that stuff, again, it's still the person going to make up their mind. But Jesus sent just gold from a random box. Nice, Kyle. Again, you know, nobody, nobody ever should be arguing about this because everybody has their own opinions Totally. And a lot of people feel that way. They should totally ban guns. And I'm not necessarily saying that those people are wrong because I don't shoot guns, so I don't care. Guns don't bother me. It's That's right. It's the mindset of the people. You know, guns do not bother me. I don't have, I don't shoot guns. I don't prefer to like guns. And, you know, but I know a lot of people that do. So it's like, what did they do wrong to bear arms? And, Forget the fact that even if you want to get rid of bear arms altogether, let's say you want to get rid of that. If you get rid of it, you're never getting all the guns off the street. It's never going to happen. Never. Never. You could you could wait. We might not, even if they did drives, they might not be able to get all the guns that are off these streets for 40 years. So in 40 years, there's going to be a lot more mass shootings regardless. Harrison signatures, you know. I mean, and again... A lot of people, yeah, and you know something funny? I've actually thought about this lately. I was going to talk to you, you know, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe that, you know, especially with making it more, maybe we should we should actually own a gun too, you know? I mean, the way the world is getting, man, it really is not getting good. Maybe we should own a gun too. You know, maybe we should. You know, and again, we wouldn't want to shoot it, but, you know, to protect yourself, the way the world is coming. There was a shooting, bro, at my mall. I take my kids this mall three to five times every month, me and Megan. Every month, there was a shooting at the mall the other day. And it wasn't, it was a, it was something with a group of kids fighting. But think about that for a minute. Dalvin Cook, baby! How you like that, Tiggy? Black to 10 RPA. I'm just saying, bro, there was a shooting at the mall that I go to with my kids and my wife the other day, right here in North Carolina, and it was a, a fight. There was these kids fighting with one another, and a gun went off, and it was nothing like, oh, I'm going to go in and shoot this mall up, but at the same point in time, like, what happens if me and my kids were in the mall that day, and the kids took out a gun, and they started shooting on people, like, you know, like, it's scary world out there, man. Yeah, it's a scary world, bro. But guns don't kill people, bro. People kill people. And if it's not a gun, it'll be a machete. And if it's not a machete, it'll be a flamethrowing blowtorch. I mean, but I do agree with you. It should be hard for people to get a gun. I do agree with, with that concept. Not just you, anybody who agrees with that. I agree with that. I think it should be hard for people to get a gun. I think only responsible people... And again, you don't know who responsible is. You know, so like... What is, you know, where does that line get drawn? Now you open up a whole new can of worms. So let's say you're a 25-year-old man. You've never had an issue. You have a perfect credit score. You own your own home. You're engaged to be married, and you seem like a normal person. And one thing fucking sparked you off, and you bought a gun. And you seem like the great candidate. You killed fucking 100 people. How do you know who's responsible? You don't. You never are going to know. That's right. You can kill more people with a truck than you could have done with a truck with a bomb all day. McCaffrey. You know, and I think that this gets brought to our attention so much on purpose because of the situations. But And then everybody blames President Trump. Oh, make guns. What are you going to do? This has been happening for years and nobody did nothing about it. Like, it drives me wild, bro. It's very hard to control. You're right, Prince. You can't control nothing. You don't know who people are. The only way you know people is if you deal with them, if you know them. When you walk into a gun store, the owner doesn't know you. 
That's right. Teach kids as well. Education. And again, yeah, I mean, mental illness works too. You can teach that. But at the same point in time, what if you don't know who's going to do it next? There's too many ifs. There's too many variables in this situation. I'll tell you what's not a variable, though. This monster RPA of big homies! Booyah, Glency! Nice, bro. Nice. Cards brings us together, though, baby. No, no, listen. I'm not against you at all. Nobody should be. Nobody should ever judge nobody for if they feel take all the guns off the street. All I'm saying is, even if you take the guns off the street, even if you take them off the street, what are you gonna do? I have 12 and 11. They can shoot more and clean by themselves. <laughs> You're a jerk. That's right. Yeah, I respect everybody's opinion, man. Nobody should ever, especially guys like us that sit here and break together all the time. Nobody should ever get mad at nobody. Everybody has their own opinions. I would hope nobody gets mad at my opinions. I mean, it's my opinion. I don't never get mad at nobody else for their opinions. Coleman for the Browns. Titans duel. And Ricky Williams, Jersey Auto for Miami. Um, um. They were saying, get rid of all guns and shoot so many goddamn bullets in a single minute. Well, I I think that bump stock thing, you know, I, I don't know much about them, so I might sound stupid. I just go by the news. I think that thing that makes the gun shoot so fast and rapid that, you know, maybe you can get rid of that some way. But again, you're still messing with people's rights, you know, the people that don't bother people. And and my uncle is always what I go back to in my head because he just loved to shoot guns. Like, he's never harmed a fucking fly, this guy, in his life. He just loves guns. He does. He takes, he took Megs and me to a gun range. He takes his kid. He takes everybody. Come on, come to the gun range. I mean, it's so much fun. That's his hobby. He shoots into a sand pit. He shoots. And he shoots a lot and fast. And it's fun for him. And he enjoys it. And he feels that if anything would ever happen, he could protect his family. I don't know, man. See, my mind goes to that. But then I've also seen the part where people kill each other. It, it's a, Exactly. And a lot of people don't like each other's hobbies, but it's his hobby. See, if I didn't have that uncle, I, I don't know how I would think either. So, you know. To 10... Shady McCoy and Peterman Green for the Buffalo Bills. Get him, Carby Darby. On my side, there are people in life, different rules, and don't care about the personal safety. That's right. You know, this goes back to all the times with, 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 with police incidents. You know, like, I've been on both sides of them handcuffs, and I'll tell you this, man. Cops have to protect themselves, you know, period. They have to protect themselves. And you know something? I've done a lot of stupid things, but I've never been shot at. And then you get a guy, you get two people in a car, and they, and you get one guy runs that way, one guy runs this way. This guy runs this way. He's got a 9 millimeter on his waistband. This guy doesn't. That guy gets killed. That guy doesn't. Then they want to know why this kid's dead. Oh, he was going back to school. He's going to be a doctor. Oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. And, and you know something? Well, what were you carrying around a sling of rock for in your weight, in, in your ass crack and a 9mm for? You got shot. Your friend who didn't have the gun, he didn't get shot. Dalvin Cook. All those people want us to go back to their family at the end of the day. Wow, another one out of 10, but this one's not black. This is green. 3 of 10, Ross, for the Bengals. Go get them, FC. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're never disappearing. They are never disappearing, bro. It can't. It can't happen, bro. Illegal guns get brought in from. Oh, that's another thing I didn't even hit, Andrew. Very smart, Andrew. Illegal guns. Illegal guns. Forget about the guns being sold here. All the illegal guns that come in from all the borders. It's crazy out there, man. All right, guys. I just want to make sure where we are in this filler. My last spot was Craig Hannon. We got. Craig, I got you, I got Reality, Flare Face, uh, Craig, nobody else on the tube, right? Yo, new guy, did you send? New guy, uh, where's the new guy? The new guy is Andrew, 
Andrew, let me see if you sent you did I'll get you modded up. You did, nice bro. Welcome, man. Andrew, Andrew. Nice, bro. WI in the building. Guys, let's uh let's uh give Andrew a welcome, guys. New guy, aka Drew on the two, baby. Yep, you did, buddy. Drewy, what up, man? I'm G Man, bro. Welcome to the fan, brother. You're in and paid. Guys, we got 16 fulls left. Everybody should be sending. 16. Oh, wait. We got 16. We got four to make 40. Yes, yeah, 16. 16 fulls left, guys. 16 fulls left at 44. A double filler. Impeccable. And best of football. All right, y'all, and let's get that man modded up over there. Bam, guys. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, and again, I need to. I'll never own a gun, but I'm 100% for gun owners to have their rights. I think assault weapons, assault weapons probably should have. That's right. See, and again, see, here's that here's that whole catch-22 slicker. I'm, I'm, ex hey, Tannen, how are you? Weapons citizens might lose in the next 50 years. Some automatic weapons are what citizens might lose. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, 44. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, I'm with you exactly to the T almost, Slicker. It's like, you know, I feel that that should happen. But I'm also, at the end of the day, Slicker, I'm a realist. And a realist to me means that I know that that probably should be. But it can't never happen because even if you ban them, they'll still be made by somebody overseas and shipped here illegally and or done here in the United States illegally, you know. So even if you say, hey, let's make it harder for them to get a bump stock. Hey, let's make it harder for them to get this. At the end of the day, it's still going to be able to get your hands on it, bro. If, you know, how people are making guns off of printers nowadays. 3D plastic guns that can shoot a bullet and kill you. So, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 I'm, I'm on the fence with that, too. Like, how you doing, Tanner? I don't own a gun. I don't plan on owning a gun right away. Maybe soon we should probably consider it. Um, you know, but the way the world is working, man, it's it's scary. Wentz and to 10. Double order for the Bills. Peter and Zah Jones. Carby Darby is on a rolly goalie. And, it, you know, you know, like you said, G. Perez, you know, about having a ton of bullets. Like, you know, again, I go back to thinking about my uncle inviting us. Yes, Megs. Megs was there inviting us to the gun range. And, you know, this guy's got 500 bullets lined up in a row for all his different guns. You know, shooting shooting skeets, bro. Skeets go, brrr, you know, bah, 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 you know, all different kind of guns. Handguns, this guns. And it's like, you know, should my uncle... The guy who loves this gave his whole life to the state of New York, worked for them for 30, 29, 28 years or 29 years, and now he's retired and he just loves to go shoot guns. Should he not be allowed to do that? And he's never heard a fly? Should that not? Should he not be because somebody else wants to do something crazy? You know, should that really be an aspect? Should I take away that man's rights? Because other people want to kill people. <laughs> I don't know. Because even if you don't use a gun, you can kill somebody with, with, with a lot less, a lot faster. You know? Guns might be, you might think guns kill people fast, but they don't. I'll tell you what'll kill people fast. A, a, a rented van with a, with a homemade bomb that you can learn how to do right on YouTube. <laughs> You can't go to bed. You're in a break. Yeah, yeah, you're in. Uh, we also now, uh, so you know, I do the filler on a separate record so you can watch the filler. You're in. Three of five, Rogers. Jumbo. Joe Williams. I hope you're not mad at the conversation. See, that's what I never, why I never talk about it because I don't want anybody to ever be mad. You know, and I respect your handle as a teacher, man. It sucks for you, man. You're caught in a bind. You know, but I don't feel that if you don't want to carry a gun, you're a teacher. You shouldn't have to. 
There should be designated. As I said, I'm a teacher. <laughs> there should be designated people, man. Yeah, I hope you get your snow day. That'd be nice. There should be designated people in this school that carry those guns. You know, maybe five to ten people in each school, you know. You know, a couple armed security guards, you know. Hell, I come from New York, bro. My taxes were $12,000 a year, and my kids weren't even in this in the school district. They were too young, and I still had to pay $12,000 a year for taxes on a house that was so small. You Not small, small, but it was kind of small. No way, you know, I mean, it's nothing like the houses in North Carolina are, but I'm paying $12,000 a year, bro. Every household on my block was, too. I mean, everybody in the whole county, I mean, they should easily be able to hire some armed guards in every school district. <laughs> Howard, AJ Green, Foreman. Guys, I need three more fulls. Three to four more fulls. Come on, fellas. Switzer. Three to four more fulls. Let's go. Who's taking? Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. You're in 100%, and the video will be called Double Filler, Impeccable, and Best of Football, all right? So you can watch the filler and then the break that you were in after. Okay, bud? Good luck at school tomorrow, and stay safe, my man. Come on, 44, guys. Give me three more fulls. Let's go. Ooh, Zui. Ah, me, Lee Jam, man. Nice. Foyd. No doubt, baby. Respect. Mitch Trebinsky from McStoles and Allen. 44 bucks. I need three more fulls. Only own a shotgun. Let's see way to my wife and family. Basically the first scene. In the yeah, you're right. You're right. I agree with you too, man. I'm going to kill my family, bro. Fuck that. Appreciate that, Bengals. 44 cent now. I need a few more people. I got the whole list done. Come on, $44. A few more foes, guys. Thanks, Dag. Thanks, Dag. Appreciate it, bro. I got you. Well, now you want me to do the work, too, for you? All right. Done. All right, AD. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. All right, AD. You're good. Send over, Mark. You're good. Send over. And we got 11 left, guys. 10 left. Ten left. Here comes my mini, fellas. Here comes my mini. Dropping the mini right now. Be ready. So we got twelve. You ready for this? Twelve divided by twenty-six. Ready, guys? Twenty-six spots. One. To 12 in. Spot 13 gets 1,000 plats. Bottom to give away five times each. $1,000. Store credit, guys. Ready? Go. Three on YouTube. Four on YouTube. Five on YouTube, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No sign! 21. 22. 23, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, we're full. We're full. Mayo, you filled it, Mayo. We are 100% filled. I'm excited. I can't wait to crown the winner of the 1,000. We did 2,500 the other night. That shit was banging. Who won that 25? I forgot. It was a big-ass filler, though, boy. I remember that. That was a great one, boy. JD Vance, you filled it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, girls and boys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please get sent over. It's going to go next. 
Yeah, I want my kids out of school. I don't want my kids in school much longer. I really don't. Landry, wow, that was a great pack. Would you imagine? Would you, every card was green. Every card was fucking green, man. Look at that. I've never seen a pack like that before, I don't think. Every card in that pack was green. And an Ingram for the Giants. That was crazy, right? No, I don't mean. It's $59. It's $1,000 to one spot, bro. <laughs> we tried to, uh, We did one the other day for 25 That was so fun. Who hit that? I forgot. Von Miller, Derek Carr, nice patch in there for the Raiders. And DeMarco Murray, very cool. Yeah, Spectre's always been a, a, a nice to me, too. I, I, I only would like one thing changed about the Spectre. Instead of having the big, thick markers, the colored, I'd rather thin ones. You know, I think they use too thick of a marker. You know what I'm saying? Muhammad. Bosa. Rolling with the homies. Bam, Glency. Five of ten and Mac to 75 for the Colts napkin patch. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm not doing an 88 hit recap. But I will show you all the one touch stuff. There's already three one touches, so. <laughs> guy, bro. Really? You think so, O'Neal? For you, maybe, right? Dalvin Cook is pretty hot, no? I mean, it's not been the best, but I don't think it's been that bad. I mean, got the dual auto green. You got the McHomies RPA. You got the Dalvin Cook, the 10 RPA. I mean, I don't know. Are you really? I need that shit soon, bro. Maybe I'll get it through you. Froster, Sherman, dual left, and, uh, top and bottom, Juju and Ross, and Rodney Harrison, signature blue. The financial planner. Are you really? Very cool, man. Oh, yeah? Thanks, bud. Um, I might not have dropped, maybe, or something. I don't know, but I will definitely count, and thank you, Hatchy. Could be wrong. CJ Anderson. Joey Bosa. Davis Webb and Holy Milky Tits. Five of five RPA to Sean Watson Orange. Well, three colors in there blue, red, and white. Five of five, Carby Boy. Woo! Oh, that's sick, Hooper. Good for you, man. Um, Megs and D's sister, she was doing something with that, and she was taking her series something, and then, I don't know, and then she just stopped doing it altogether. I don't know. In New York, I think that's a, you know, a cutthroat kind of play kind of thing, you know, like a lot of people do it in New York. MGN bought in at six and change, really. Forte, Eagles, Super Bowl champs, and the 75, Taylor for the Titans. And then at the end, also in this, somebody gets a free wheel spin, too, guys. David Johnson, the 99. Mixon, next era. Foreman and Matt Collinson. Nice patches for the Eagles. Radiant. Very cool. Not Andajar. My bad, G-Man. Wait, 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 wait. Super was Ascar. Wait, wait, hold on. Super was Ascar, not Andajar. Wow, bro. Why you gotta do that shit to me, bro? I think you'd be lying, too, to me, bro. Word up, man. I know you lying now. I want that shit, bro. 
I want that super in the jar so bad, bro. What's up, whore? I see you over there, big whore. McCaffrey, Ross, Davis, and Hopkins. Pink, very cool. And a, a butt. So you was just pulling my chain on that super, eh? Cabby. Guys, if you're paid for that filler, right? Paid for me, guys. Shit, I got that one. Oh, wow, that was a nice patch. Luck, 10 of 10. Tonight, 199 Miller, Dalvin Cook. And look at that radiant sickness. Josh Reynolds. This guy any good? Is Josh Reynolds any good? I don't know much about the Rams. Well, you just got a nice little RPA there for the Titans to want to have a nice one. Interesting. You know, insurance is like a one big fucking Ponzi scheme, bro. <laughs> it really is. Isn't it or isn't it not? Be honest with me. That's just like one big Ponzi scheme, right? I mean, when you look at it, you're basically paying, you know, taking from Peter to pay Paul. But, I mean, it's a business. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not down in the business. I mean, but that's really, at the end of the day, what it's like, right? It's kind of just like a big fucking Ponzi scheme, no? <laughs> yeah, see? Thanks, jerky boy. In case of shit. Yeah, yeah that's right, bro. Hey, I'm not saying I'm ruining it, believe me. Kaya. Tyreek Hill. Bam! Trubinsky and Howard and 199 Dobbs. Very nice. If you're coming up, it's nice to save your ass. You came up, you can you can self-insure. Wait, what do you mean, Jerry? If you're coming up, it's nice to save your ass. When you came up, you can insure, you can self-insure. Right, you can self-insure. Exactly. I get it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you, when you need it, yes, yes. Good, very good. Um. Way to describe it. Basically, if you're Donald Trump, you don't need insurance. But on the way up, you do, you know, because if something goes wrong. Right, right. Because basically, you're paying this premium to say, hey, I'm covered in case. You know, but instead of using the money out of your pocket, you just pay for it when you need it. But God forbid, you know, you get something big like a cancer or something or something, you know. It always is good, I, I, I guess, so... Ooh, two of two Malone, Bengals FC. Yeah. But when you're at the bottom, you don't really need it. Right, I get it. That's a nice way to describe. That's pretty smart. Yeah, I agree with you, bro. We use more money in fucking top load than this break than we make. <laughs> like legit. See, everybody doesn't just put all the, you know, the, 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 the base cards in and the jersey pieces. And a lot of people just top load the autos. We top load everything. It's like all these top loaders we use, bro. <laughs> Montgomery. Hat. Red in. Seahawks, Lockett, and Darber, and for the Cowboys, the 50, <laughs> Mel Renfro. people is to keep the home. 
The quickest way to poverty is a newly widowed single mom. The quickest way to poverty is a newly widowed single mom. Really? Yeah, you're right, actually. My, that's where I, my mom, you know, my father died. I mean, not that we were living like Benji's or anything, but my mom got fucked up in the game after my father died, man. Rob Gronkowski. And to finish it off, McNichols. Very nice. Well, that's different, Moo. That's different. That is just a pure scheme, bro. Those people are making so much fucking money. Did you see the new Domino's thing? For an extra, like, dollar fifty, you can insure your pizza, and if anything happens to it, they'll replace it absolutely free for, like, 30 minutes you have. But, like, if you don't, you know, like, think about... if Think about this. Across the entire globe, if one million people a day bought that insurance... How many people are really complaining getting a new pie, bro? Domino's will make a million dollars every single day of their life in business with that new insurance policy. Domino's insurance laughable, he says. <laughs> Yeah, don't sell it, bro. Don't sell that Andrew job, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, keep that Andrew job, bro. Car, man. Nice hit with that Watson, homie. Yeah, that was a good case, man. Rolling with the homies. All right, guys, here we go on the randomizer. We'll do one random for all of them. Six times, fellas. Six times. Top and bottom. So, top wins, it goes to Fournette, Ross, and Davis. If bottom wins, it goes to Henry, Shoo Shoo, and Hopkins. All right. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, listen. You know my motto, bro. Don't make me fucking repeat my motto again, bro. <laughs> How does this happen? I don't know. Call Panini and tell him to run the case number and be like, yo, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> Top or bottom on six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bottom, bottom, bottom. So we got Titans, Steelers, and Texans. Titans, Steelers, Texans. Titans, Steelers, Texans. Thank you for that, Phil, guys. No duels there, right? No. PYT number 20. Oh, and uh, now I got to ram you guys. Oh, shoot. I only went five. I only went five. No, I only went five. I got to do it again. Top and bottom. I only went five, guys. I, I mean, these aren't really anything to go picky over or anything, but I can't do it the wrong way. I only went five. I'm sorry, guys. Six times, guys. Here we go, fellas. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stay, Stayed at the bottom, but I feel better knowing that we did it right because I would have been really upset. If I see it, I catch it, but usually you guys see it. All right, now free wheel spin, guys. Now it's a free wheel spin. Um, Mike down to carb. Top one on six. One, two, thanks, bro. Three, four, 
five and six. Andy! I didn't know you were in this, Andy. I had no idea you were in this. Brown's nice. On six, bro, you win. You got a free wheel spin, bro. All right, guys, thank you for the fill, everybody. Really appreciate it. Number 20 is in the box. Holla, 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 guys.